In this video, we will discuss nephronophthisis, a rare genetic disorder causing kidney damage. We will explore its various aspects, including genetics, diagnosis, and treatment, to understand its impact on individuals. Genetic mutations are important in nephronophthisis. Mutated genes, NPHP1, NPHP2, NPHP3, NPHP4, NPHP5, affect the primary cilia on renal tubular cells, causing abnormal development and function. Hereditary patterns can be autosomal recessive or dominant. Genetic testing and counseling are important for affected individuals and their families. Primary ciliary dysfunction plays a crucial role in the development and progression of nephronophthisis. It impairs the cilium's ability to respond to signals, impacting renal tubular function and leading to kidney damage. The causes are complex, involving genetic and environmental factors. Histologically, nephronophthisis is characterized by tubuloin interstitial fibrosis, tubular atrophy, and the presence of cysts within the renal parenchyma. The fibrosis and atrophy result from the chronic inflammation and progressive destruction of renal tubules. The cysts, which are typically non-communicating and arise from the collecting ducts, are a hallmark feature of nephronophthisis. These cysts can vary in size and number, ultimately replacing the normal renal tissue. The histopathological evaluation of renal biopsy specimens is crucial for diagnosing nephronophthisis and distinguishing it from other renal diseases with similar clinical presentations. A variety of molecular diagnostic techniques are available to identify genetic mutations associated with nephronophthisis. Next Generation Sequencing NGS, has revolutionized genetic testing by allowing simultaneous analysis of multiple genes, facilitating the detection of pathogenic mutations in known nephronophthisis-related genes. Additionally, targeted gene panel testing is increasingly utilized, which involves sequencing a specific set of genes known to be associated with the condition. These molecular methods enable a more accurate and efficient diagnosis of nephronophthisis, providing valuable information for patient management and genetic counseling. Nephronophthisis is not limited to kidney problems. It can also cause issues in other parts of the body, such as the eyes, liver, and brain. These include retinal degeneration, liver fibrosis, and cognitive impairments. These extrarenal manifestations highlight the importance of a thorough assessment in patients with nephronophthisis. Distinguishing nephronophthisis from other cystic kidney diseases, such as autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, ADPT, is crucial for accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. While both conditions can present with cystic kidney disease, several clinical and genetic differences help differentiate them. ADPT is typically diagnosed in adulthood and presence with large, bilateral renal cysts, whereas nephronophthisis is characterized by small-sized cysts and an earlier onset in childhood or adolescence. Genetic testing, imaging modalities, and renal histology evaluation play crucial roles in differentiating between these two entities. Apoptosis, a form of programmed cell death, has been implicated in the progression of nephronophthisis. Emerging evidence suggests that aberrant activation of aptotic pathways leads to increased tubular cell death, exacerbating renal damage. Other modes of programmed cell death, such as necroptosis and pyroptosis, might also contribute to disease progression. Understanding the molecular mechanisms underlying programmed cell death in nephronophthisis may serve as a potential target for future therapeutic interventions aimed at halting or slowing down the disease progression. In the video on novel therapeutic strategies for nephronophthisis, we discuss the potential of gene therapy and targeted pharmacological interventions to treat the condition. Gene therapy aims to correct genetic mutations, while targeted drugs aim to prevent or slow renal damage. Imaging techniques play a crucial role in the diagnosis, monitoring, and management of nephronophthisis. Ultrasound is often the initial imaging modality used to identify renal abnormalities, such as cysts and increased echogenicity. Complementary imaging modalities, such as computed tomography, CT, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, provide more detailed anatomical information and help assess disease severity. These imaging techniques aid in the evaluation of disease progression, planning for renal replacement therapy, and monitoring patients over time. Nephronophthisis can be associated with various syndromic forms that involve additional clinical features beyond renal manifestations. Senior Loken syndrome is characterized by the combination of nephronophthisis and retinal degeneration. Joubert syndrome, another related disorder, manifests with cerebellar vermis hypoplasia, developmental abnormalities, and the characteristic molar tooth sign on brain imaging. These syndromes have unique clinical features, and understanding their genetic links can provide valuable insights into the underlying pathophysiological mechanisms of nephronophthisis. Renal replacement therapy, including hemodialysis and renal transplantation, is a vital component in managing advanced nephronophthisis with end-stage renal disease. 
Hemodialysis helps sustain life by removing wastes and maintaining electrolyte balance, but it is associated with significant challenges and limitations. Renal transplantation offers the potential for improved quality of life and long-term survival. However, careful evaluation and management are necessary to ensure optimal outcomes in patients with nephronophthisis. Challenges in transplantation include the risk of recurrence and the need for lifelong immunosuppression therapy. To effectively manage nephronophthisis, a team of nephrologists, geneticists, ophthalmologists, and other specialists collaborate to provide comprehensive care. This includes diagnosing and treating the condition, counseling patients and their families, and addressing extrarenal complications such as retinal degeneration. By working together, these experts maximize patient outcomes and improve their overall well-being. Nephronophthisis is a genetic disorder causing kidney damage. To manage patients effectively, understanding its genetics, diagnosis, treatment, and related syndromes, as well as engaging in research, offers hope for better outcomes.